Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a simple star network using four assembly devices. I have with me the assembly development kit number RFD 77803 and three extra AAA battery shields. I also have my iPod Touch and my laptop. Let's get started. This is our host device. Pressing the first button on our C node will light up the blue LED on our host device. Pressing the first button on our B node will light up the red LED on our host device. Pressing them both at the same time will light up the green LED on our D node as it receives data from our host node. Today we're going to be creating a simple star network. Let's look at what we'll need. First we have three AAA battery shields. These will power our host, A, and our two nodes, B and C. We'll power our third node, D, with a USB extension cable. Second, we have the seven pin GPIO. This will act as our host device. Next, we have four LED button shields. We'll use these on each device for a visual indicator of functionality. Then we have our two USB shields. We'll use these for programming our assembly. Lastly, we have our three node devices. We'll use the 29 GPIO breakout boards for those. Assemble the host device using the USB shield, 7-pin GPIO breakout, and RGB shield. In the Arduino IDE, navigate to Tools and make sure the correct COM port is selected. Now upload the host sketch to your assembly device. Our host device has now been created. Disconnect and dismantle this device. Select one of your AAA battery shields and connect your assembly device and RGB LED shield. You can turn on your device using the switch on the side. And our host device is externally powered. Select one of your 29 GPIO breakouts, the USB shield, add an RGB LED shield on top, and plug it into your USB extension cable. We'll save this sketch as star underscore dev zero. When we're done with this sketch, we'll be uploading it to both devices B and C, which are our transmitting nodes. Upload this sketch to your B device. Once uploaded, pressing the first button on the top shield should turn on the blue LED. Unplug your first node from the USB extension cable and dismantle it. Add a AAA battery shield on top of it and the LED shield on top of that. Click the small switch on the side and your first node is powered. We'll program the next assembly to be our second node and assemble it. Now upload this sketch to your C device. Once completed, unplug and dismantle this device, removing the USB shield. Add a AAA battery shield and RGB LED shield on top of the assembly and your second node is powered. Pressing the first button on your B node will light up the red LED on your host. Pressing the first button on your C node will light up the blue LED on your host device. If you press them both at the same time, you should see both LEDs light up on your host device. Combine your 29 GPIO, USB shield, and RGB LED shield, and plug it into the USB extension cable. Upload this final sketch to your D device. We've just created a simple star network. This is our host device. Pressing the first button on our C node will light up the blue LED on our host device. Pressing the first button on our B node will light up the red LED on our host device. Pressing them both at the same time will light up the green LED on our D node as it receives data from our host node. You can find more documentation at simply.com. 